Hi, welcome to Electrical Info YouTube channel. Subscribe our channel and share. Today we learn about anti-pumping relay diagram and working function explained. This video describes the anti-pumping relay, its definition, function, and circuit diagram. In a circuit breaker it is desired that when close and trip operation is performed on the circuit breaker with the closing coil energized, the subsequent closing operation should be prevented. So let's begin with the basic introduction of the anti-pumping relay. What is an anti-pumping relay? The anti-pumping relay is a circuit breaker auxiliary relay that is used to protect the circuit breaker from multiple closing commands. In other words, the anti-pumping relay is one that is used in the circuit breakers to prevent unwanted closing of the circuit breaker after tripping. The anti-pumping relay is important when the TNC, trip neutral, Close, switch in the circuit breaker closing circuit releases continuous circuit breaker close commands to the closing coil. The anti-pumping relay prevents this unwanted closing of the circuit breaker that may cause a safety hazard or equipment failure. The anti-pumping relay is basically a NO contact. This means, when the circuit breaker is in the closed condition, the relay will be in NO condition, and when the circuit breaker is in the open state, the relay will be in NC condition. Next we learn about circuit breaker closing and tripping diagram without anti-pumping features. Closing function. Diagram shows the breaker in closed condition. When the TNC switch is operated towards close and auxiliary contact 52B remains in the NC position, the breaker gets closed and a contact changeover takes place thus opening the 52B contact and closing the 52A contact of the trip circuit. Tripping function. Diagram shows trip operation. When any fault occurs in the relay contacts change to NC position thus energizing the trip coil as auxiliary. Contact 52A was in close condition prior to tripping. Next we learn about how does anti-pumping relay prevent repetitive closing commands. The control circuit diagram of the circuit breaker without an anti-pumping relay is shown figure. If the TNC switch remains in a close position due to any issue within it or the operator keeps it in a close position, during fault conditions, both close trip commands will remain in the circuit causing repeatedly closing and tripping the breaker. This type of operation will cause damage to the circuit breaker and power system because of the high magnitude of the fault current. To avoid such a problem, an anti-pumping relay is incorporated into the closing circuit as shown in the figure.